With the start of the new Formula One season, I returned to play F1 Manager 23. And after a full season in my career, I was about to make a video about some things I would like to see in possible upcoming versions, and features that this game is still missing to really be a great F1 management game. Then this happened. They officially announced F1 Manager 24 and a major new introduction to the gameplay, which was highly requested by all fans, the Create a Team Career Mode. So, in this video, we'll discuss this and all the other features that we can expect in this third release of the series, based on the announcement trailer and the press release. There will be then another video coming soon with my top 10 things, other than these, that I would like to see. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned. F1 Manager 24 emphasizes the possibility to create your own team instead of just choosing one of the existing teams in the F1 grid. For the very first time in the franchise's history, fans will have the option to create and lead their own custom team to victory, building a legacy alongside the sport's greatest names as they orchestrate their ascent to the top of the podium. It seems like Frontiers is adding one big feature every year. They started in 2022 with a solid foundation, then added the Team Switch in 2023, and now the Create a Team mode. In the announcement video, we can see a lot of different liveries. I'm assuming they are all pre-designed liveries, so I think we will only be able to choose one of them and customize the colors. It would be great if we could fully design our own livery from scratch, but I don't think so. We can, however, negotiate sponsorship opportunities, and it seems like the sponsors will be then present on the car. The second thing I'm most curious about is what they call the new mentality system for drivers and staff, bringing individual personalities and demands to the fore. If done right, this is something that can add more depth to the gameplay. We might see more driver rivalries and teammate dynamics come into play. I would also like to see a driver angry with us for a disastrous strategy, or because of a team order to let his teammate through, or even drivers having their own goals and demands, like for example specific developments for the car to be more suitable with their driving style. Currently there is almost no interaction with the drivers and the staff members, and this is something that the game is missing. And I would like also to see them considering leaving the team if we do not meet any of their demands, since another new introduction to the game is the underlying threat of drivers and staff being poached. I guess what they mean by that is that also the other teams can come and propose a contract to our staff or drivers during the season, or for the next season, and this may open up a negotiation with us having to convince our drivers or staff to remain maybe offering them more money. Another great addition that adds more realism and depth. The first release of the series in 2022 was considered too easy in terms of gameplay difficulty. Even starting with the worst teams on the grid, with the right strategies and developments, you were able to compete within the first season. This was improved in F1 Manager 23, but it still feels a bit too easy sometimes. With the new release, the game difficulty may be higher due to enhanced AI closing the gap between players and their competitors, both on and off the track. The AI of the game is not bad, but there is for sure much room for improvement. And I hope that the improved AI, alongside with what they call improved racing behaviors, will provide better races with more realistic fights, overtakes, and especially incidents. From the gameplay footage, we can see a possible new camera that looks like helicopter shots or TV cameras from above, as hinted in the press release. The helmet cam last year was a beautiful addition, and it makes sense to have a new camera also this year. A frame of the video may also hint a difference in staff roles compared to last year. Here we can see four roles, two of them are the same, the race engineer of course, and the head of aerodynamics. But then we have the chief mechanic and the chief designer. While in the current version of the game we have the technical chief and the sporting director. The sporting director was introduced last year so I don't think they already changed that role. Most probably, they either just rename it as chief mechanic. Which makes sense since he was responsible for the pit crew. And the technical chief became chief designer or they split the technical chief into two distinct roles, and the sporting director is still present, but just not in the same page or UI, since he's not involved in the car development. But these are all speculations. I guess we'll have to wait for more news and gameplay to find out. Finally, 
Another great addition, something that I was very much waiting for. I still don't understand how they could have not considered this since the first release of the game. I'm talking about mechanical failures. Yes, last year, they added the concept of wear, with parts of your car like the suspensions or the wings that can last for a limited number of kilometers, after which they have to be replaced, but they do not fail randomly during a race causing you to retire. Even if F1 has reached much higher reliability standards compared to many years ago, we still see problems on track and cars retiring due to reliability, like engine or brake failures. Again, this adds more realism to the gameplay, and I'm very happy we'll finally be able to see these things happening during races. The game will come out this summer. We don't have a precise release date yet, but I think it will be by the end of July or beginning of August as it was last year. Be sure to mark your calendars for the summer 2024 launch on PC, PlayStation and Xbox platforms. And let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts and what would you like to see in this third release of the series? As the anticipation builds for F1 Manager 24, the countdown to the ultimate racing experience has begun. Get ready to rewrite history, lead your team to glory, and immerse yourself in the heart-pounding world of Formula One like never before. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the F1 Manager 24 excitement. Until then, race on managers.